This video is sponsored by Ultradyne Rifle Accessories. They make their own one-piece UD chassis that is lightweight, provides options for accessories to bulk it up and make it a heavy rifle if desired. You can have your choice of 10 Cerakote colors and it's available with the Remington 700 long and short action and the Savage short action. Ultradyne has adjustable buttstocks with a cheek piece that adjusts vertical and horizontal. Their top selling product is the Apollo Max muzzle brake that has outperformed the competition with extreme recoil reduction and muzzle rise mitigation. Ultradyne has sights, launch pads, and a bunch of other rifle accessories. Use code UD10 to save 10% off your entire order at ultradyneusa.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I'm about to show you the most ugly yet beautiful revolver ever created. When we think about revolvers, we typically think of something like this, a Rossi RP63. This would represent your standard revolver. It's a six shot, 357 Magnum, that was very popular, right? Nice revolver, big old hammer there, wide trigger. That would represent your standard revolver, or even a full-size revolver, the SAR. SR38 with a six inch barrel. It's also a six chamber 357 Magnum revolver. Very similar, but yet different in some ways. But these are your standard revolvers that you think about. Very common revolvers. These are actually two budget priced revolvers. But what I'm about to show you is a bit different. Now, you have heard of the Chiapi. Chiapa Rhino. You've heard of that. It's been around since 2010, but what is in here is very different. And this one is called Nabula. So let's talk about this. You can see right away, these are both 357 Magnums. They're both six shot, but the Chiapa Rhino Nabula 30DS is very much a different revolver. And they've been around for well over 10 years, well at least 2010, they began to get pretty popular and they literally revolutionized the way revolvers are produced and the, and the way that the action works. The cylinder opens this way with this lever, you just push that down and push out the hexagonal cylinder. It's a six shot. 357 Magnum revolver, but what makes this different is that the firing pin is down there. What also makes it different is that this is a Nabula finish. Check that out. It looks like a form of color case hardened. This side's really interesting with all the purple and green and blue and gold throughout, but it fires from the barrel, which is on the bottom of the frame, which decreases recoil substantially. And so instead of the revolver tilting upward with recoil, it pushes backward. And I have some experience with the Chiapa Rhino models, but this one is the, the bullet. Now it's very expensive. It's got a three inch barrel. It has the six shot. It has fiber optic sights, both in the rear, which are adjustable and a orange or red in the front. The trigger, is the double action revolver all right i already showed clear the double action is not bad but this is a cocking arm it cocks the arm that goes down to the actual hammer which is down here which will fire from the bottom chamber through the barrel which you can see there there's quite a bit of distance between the front sight and the barrel but it is very different with the coloring and the way they did that it's actually a pvd coated frame aluminum frame that is pvd coated you're looking at just under twenty one hundred dollars for this revolver it has blue laminate grips very nice look with the color scheme here and the single action trigger which this is not the hammer that's nothing more than a cocking lever the hammer's down here internally it breaks right at two and a half pounds it is very nice it, it takes some pressure to move that down there, but it breaks right at two and a half pounds. Now, when I shot this, I wasn't the most accurate shooter around because it took a little bit of a learning curve. I was trying to adjust the sights according to that inch and a half difference between the middle of the barrel and the front sight. And that is why I think 
I, I just need a little more practice. There's a bit of a learning curve with this, but I have seen people shoot this thing and do incredibly well. Better than I did when I had it out one time. But it's called the Chiapa Rhino Nebula, right there, Nebula 30DS. Very interesting revolver. Like I said, it's expensive, it's really neat, it is ugly. And I said that when I reviewed it before. I said, this thing is ugly. But yet, it's beautiful with that finish on the frame and the, the well, I was going to say the barrel. That's not the barrel. That's still part of the aluminum frame. This is the barrel right there. And the blue laminate grips. Very interesting. Multicolor, PVD coated, Nebula. And that is the most ugly yet beautiful revolver that I have ever seen. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.